Hello everyone, welcome back to Vast Era. Um, last time was the turning episode. <laughs> this time, we're going back to Sestra and Miffy. Um, we actually saw quite a lot of characters. We've seen a lot of like, Snowman Blood characters in the last two episodes, which has been really cool. Anyway, let's go. Sestro, say something! Huh? Oh, thank goodness. Staff member said that you were trawling the halls, not responding to anyone. I tried to ask you questions, but, we, you, were cat but you were catatonic, so they came down to me instead. They said that your psyop was going haywire. He was stumbling and knocking into every wall and any table in the building. Oh god, you don't even have your glasses on. I'm lucky I keep spares. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I did what? I don't remember any of that. Are you lucid now? I, I think so? And tell me what just happened up there. We... Me and the executive talked things through. I didn't watch him pass. I thought I wanted to leave his side when he was trying to reach out. Why are you hiding things from me? I'm... I'm not trying to hurt you, Hermithy. Well, I am hurt. I'm hurt because I know that you, that can't be it. Because I know you wear your soul on your hands, and you've never thought to keep it from me before. <sighs> Can I tell you after we're done? We're done out here. I'm still just processing. That's all. Better do that then. Running late as it is, since you apparently thought it a good idea to give our janitors most more of a reason to bad leave. And I have to grant it too. Huh. I'm sure you have enough thoughts swirling around that oversized think pan of yours as it is. But I want you to retain one more for me. Look back. Look back on it later, even. Also, I played No More Heroes three yesterday. No, not yesterday, but the day before. Beat it in eleven hours. Oh boy, do I have some thoughts about that. I'll just say, overall, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I do have a lot of criticism for it, but I enjoyed it. Anyway. You can keep secrets from me away from the public, the press. Maybe from Rodero or your Morale. Who's your advisor? I highly recommend you don't keep them from me. Because I would do anything to see your vision through, Sestro. I'm just not saying stuff like that. It makes me think it can, it can come true. <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh, we've got new people. Ooh, more new people. Jeez. Colium. Perimeter secured. I heard there was an incident with a Merth Maniac earlier. You did nothing. There was only one civilian casualty. Merth Maniacs have leverage over corporate. There's no point in revealing ourselves this soon due to something that's going to happen regardless of our intervention. One dead body is a soul permanently wasted. We don't have, we don't have numbers to spare. We should be more than aware that a single life is all it takes to turn the tide. We ensured the holder of life was safe. Your job as an alchemist is to ensure that everyone is safe. Oh. So who are the other know about Elsie? Do what you were chosen for. Don't make me repeat myself. At your command. Oh, oh! It's the pr the principal. This person, this character was mentioned in um, Gloma's route. We have no idea who they were, but oh, let's get this over with. Interesting. Sapien, head out. Try to feel complex sneakily, which is a very hard feat for you to pull off on a regular day. Look, you have devised a most simple yet impeccably calculated measure to avoid any more imme immediate questioning. The closed-off back alley door. Of course, as this historical monument that hinges on your daring intervention, a slightly out of character cause of action is warranted. Or just a part of this rigorous exam. I'm pretty sure that A there should be a capital, but okay. <laughs> Soon you'll be making enough noise that everyone in the mass will start to believe that they have surround sound air, air enhancers. Um, give me a sec. Oh no! I tell you what, when I first read this page, that freaked me the fuck out. All your classmates used to try and mock you when you allegedly pronounced words wrong very on purpose post, post osmosis. But look at you now. Nothing getting away. Nothing gonna. <laughs> ah! oh, what's your problem, lady? Getting some kind of kick out of loitering? Oh, um, that font isn't loading. Oh, there we go. Hey there, little stringy boy. You have a second to chair chat with me? 
As a matter of fact, I don't and never have. Maybe Thor was clowning your bulging normative eyes, but, but as, as you can clearly see with them now, I am on the move. So I'm not only admire what an absolute scumbuster your jingling, tangerine, puke parade of a costume is, you've got a wrong memo if you think Hollow Knoll is just around the corner. Is that Halloween? I don't know. Oh, no, 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 wait! I'm also in the move. I've been moving and grooving all over the place because I'm looking for someone who's super doodly uberly important. I might know a guy. What does he look like? My, my Sabine voice is gone. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I should read a card that was all about him. Oh, I was going to make a card.co joke, but I know that's not what it is. He's got this very neat mutation. He like sounds like, blah, and he's like, soup, soup. He has to wear a visor, I think. He's got this really cool specific stuff going on with his face and his peepers. Oh, and his cute little mutant hair tips. Is that anything like the guy you know? I've been searching everywhere, and I just don't know where the gosh darn thing about where to find him. Well. Does he have something wrong with his eyes? I don't know. Absolutely, you don't. Absolutely toot my own horn here. It's not like you came to the right place. Every last description you just spewed out of your chittering laugh socket is pure ass grade saving Ferrari. No idea where you heard all heard of me. I can just simulate someone on just on a referral to an outstanding conduct of professional accomplishments. If you've got any praise backed up over there, I can stand to take some go to some to go. You might have witnessed a genuine article getting to work. Oh god. <laughs> oh okay. Fuck. Oh no. Oh no. Why didn't you just say so when the start, silly? This is like the most important target we have right now, maybe. Hello, fun. Smile about it. Second, what? <laughs> Even when you're just whisper whispering, my sound spots start ringing. No wonder Pizzazzle doesn't like you. Don't worry, though. I have something that will keep that grumpy puss out of your hair. I can play against some other early summer morning if you want. I think I'll send you where you're supposed to be. Uh, hey, where are you do? Hey, where are you going? <laughs> do you get it? I know exactly where you're going. Help! Oh no! <laughs> no! Poro, follow the whimsical flashes of color. Your target lost you far easier than you expected. Jingling bells and a palette that wouldn't belong on even the most ostentatious of confections aside. They're incredibly spry. Might be all beyond your head, but you could have sworn you heard a familiar voice come from the direction a little while ago. It's barely drowned out by the sound of bustling passages and fanfare or other. Oh fuck. Fuck. He spots something down in the upcoming alleyway. This might be to recognize who it was that you heard before. No. No, this can't be. You remember Sabine vividly from the last awards for all event. S the specificity is his taste. The way he demanded you dance for him before he was served. How he smiled afterward. He's he's just a kid. And you couldn't reach him soon enough. No! Sabine! He got bonked! Oh no, he's a ch he's a child! What did they- Oh my god. Necron, why don't you with the boys? Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Anyway. <laughs> I'm joking. Alright, be right back. Now, I really need to stop saying be right back, because it's not like I'm streaming. I should just, like, just cut it away. I don't know. Oh. Shpepsy. Oh, it's sh Shpepsy. Wow, it's actually the Macho Man himself here in the Tower of Flesh. There he goes. I was going to believe it when Cryon broke it to me that you were heading some kind of manic event for some tent. I was like, thanks a lot for the right asshole. I'll be sure to send you the bill for my leg pain and generalized suffering. I haven't sweat this hard over, out of a suit since the last time I got dope roped into running errands for somebody. What if her that was? Oh, yeah. I th pardon me, but can we please get a little bit more of the explanation as to what's going on? This is an assumption on my part, but you're bound to know something about all this, aren't you? That's like implications to a lot of like work. Are you even listening to me up there, you beefy bastard? What the fresh fuck are you running around your truck for? We have questions here. Guns. <laughs> and you folks got any idea how these things work? Beep! Door and door is GNC as fuck. What the fuck? No! No! No, no! I've always wanted to give it a try, but no. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, that's a that's a motif in the song I recognize. Well, you're about to find out. Oh boy. 
Weird Al, bring her back to you. Oh, God, it's... It's, it's him. As soon as you know the job is done, you provide your Balatron with an escape route. It's customary for you to apply your power in such a way that even the most practiced alchemists in the field of time and space could not recreate. Two opposing aspects, bending in tandem. Man are unbecoming of their usual restrictions on the mortal soul. It shall going to become so much more than that when given your due. So I think what this means is that Weird Al is like the, literally the first character ever to have two aspects. Because... He's both space and time, which is weird. Although I heard, I think, I don't know if Austin did say this. I think in Discord he said at some point he had all aspects, but I don't. That might be my memory, my memory being a bitch. Hello, hello, hello again, everyone. Oh, what a rush. How you guys get to see the looks on some of those people's faces? I rented this many frownies since my last trip to the Wrinkle Factory. So just don't, just don't get it, you know. Oh, I love... What I would like to be getting is your report on the situation. How did you tangle with that megaphone mouthed mutant blood? I did just what you asked. Here, my little bopper just put him to rest. He's gonna be sitting with a little grab sw swallowed his most goo. Go on, nice and tuckered out. You were supposed to kill him. Huh? Bitch, am I right up and standing before you writing out your vocal passages in pretext? I told you to fucking slaughter him! Oh. Hmm, nope, I don't think you did. I think I would have known what you meant if you were using a secret code. I'm gonna usually actually memorize the skills, you know. You know, Puzzy Puff. Yeah, yeah, skills, you know, Puzzy Puff. Tap means bitty bopper, rest means little bopper, play means big bopper. Kills in the real world, probably. You and your crew have such a weird way of talking about really simple stuff. Uh oh. <laughs> Where'd I'll suggest? You tell Hogan's first-rate muscle men to take a step back and hold it there, champ. As long as the twerp can't do his tattletale routine, they shouldn't be able expecting anything this soon. We can take the rest as it comes. I'm asking that you all generally know who's coming from where. I mean, if it could have a nice surprise, but this would not be the place for it. Wait, Al. Confirm placement of secondary cast members. Oh. Robogirl. Oh, there's winners. Teleport for max damage. Oh. Kill. Shmopper. Oh, God. Secret. Oh. Uh -uh. Popular guy, bad and not funny. Big pain in the butt. Hate this guy. And they don't know where everyone else is. Interesting. So they're gonna get teleport in. And Edelon. Edelon's gonna do something. Yeah, that's a cheery little scout. If what she sees here seems more, more or less right. North Harbor knows you spent far too long scouring the most mundane variations of potential outcomes in order to pinpoint the likely, likely choices. It's not an exact science, but probabilities never are. Oh, that's interesting. You wanna know why that's interesting? Because that was something really important in the um, Intermission 2 side 1. Does Weird Al have a connection to Mimesis? It's either that or like probabilities are like a concept in on their own, like maybe like time related. I don't know. She nods, making a bunch of squeaky effemic noises. I feel her face splitting into a smile. Rush is up to him now. Test your movie. Begin public address. Um, I'll let this. Wait, no, this is the turn of music. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. To those who the sage, to those who have been waiting for this moment, who has been tirelessly strained, strain, who have tirelessly strained themselves. We have struggled 21 and across the entire mass, to my close allies and colleagues in attendance. I'd like to thank all of you for showing your support during this, this crisis. Not only for us, but also for your fellow troll. Even as we fear the worst is yet to pass. Now you are under the obligation to consider the words of an enterprise. It's no secret that many of you don't have trust in it. But we haven't given you good enough reason to. In the interest of transparency and recognition of or not of these... Of not, not only these issues, but all prides this moment, this is what I would like to focus on tonight. Turn and drop it unannounced. Oh god. <laughs> uh, uh. There's an intense sequence of unseen events that came past during your, your Matt Scooter Dash. So you find yourself hopping off a building, as you know, you're often one to do, you want to often do. So your combo mode is your latest trick grants you enough style points to switch back to your pogo for an easy landing. Sweet. 
<laughs> I love that. Oh, what's good, superstars? Nice mic check you got going on. Don't get this shindig started without your favorite psychic, right? <laughs> oh, I, I mean, uh, Sonic, greatly really come up with some convenient lies. Hi, it's Kai Kai here. Good to be up on the stage tonight to open for Repton's best and brightest. I've been like kicking it real and keeping it jumpy before we even started jumping in general. I was wondering if it would wax slumber patterns, gotta stick together, you know. I guess we would th we'd all throw ourselves right out of our coots and goggle our dude to meet up for an event like this, am I right? Or is all kind of sight for some totally radical politics and development, huh? Caught up with that shy. Why don't Pran speak up? Please excuse this interruption, everyone. Citing how novels our post conference show is planned to be, these are our entertainment had their schedule misplaced. You'll be sure to see them again later. Oh, no. <laughs> it's time, folks. My time job is to do inopportune things in our inconvenient places, which that includes now, but less unfortunate, it will be not included later. So you'll have to the show for more big talks and bigger issues. So, when he really wants me to juggle some broken glass again, if you're lucky, bud, if you're lucky. <laughs> My fucking god. Fine, I'll admit it if you want if you want me to. Once I happily be fed be fed it on your terms without express permission, like forty five pays actually on why I decided to be beefing it. I'll be even more clear on what it I was like super beef. But still just one. Count them. One. But you found many other possible possible lesser or major beefs that could could have been. He thinks I deserve a slap on the wrist so, rather than a tug on the collar, ma'am. You deserve to be dead. How oh, Jackson, yeah, you're pissed, huh? Don't let anybody else see you, lest you cause another uproar. We'll call for you once the ceremony is finished. What? Hmm, yes. What indeed? What's the point of these grand gestures turning? If I remember your abysmal lack of communication, what do you expect to accomplish by not being there until you decide it's convenient for you? Is that more than enough duress without this flaky lifeline crashing a critical plant wide event to clumsily make up for the fact that they can't do anything for him? Just because you know he's going to cover for you doesn't give you the right to not, not to care. If you want to help out, you'll stay away from us right now. Man. <laughs> Not only is your moral excessive, excessively high profile, but they also know how to stir the drama pot. Half the crowd wants answers, and the other half is demanding to know what the post-conference event is going to be. You don't have a post-conference event. This might take a moment. Roro, grieve. This is all your fault. Is there anything you can think about? Oh no. Hosts of ridicule and dismay spiral through your head, turning until they fall into your gut. Imagine what they will be, what they will all say once they find out vividly, and that's the worst part. We all stare deep enough to bleed into your very soul and shout, "Hey, jackass! He's alive, Sabian! Sabian, you're alive!" Ah, so it's really issue, Chief Chef Dursel. I hear your voice in your lackluster dance moves very clearly. Make sure to check in for a pulse next time. Instead of you swimming a skull built as thick as mine, it will be so easily cracked under this sort of pressure. And here's an idea. Instead of twitching next to me like a wild flop beast, you can, I don't know, utilize your semi-useful muscul musculature to get this damn thing off my head? <laughs> What's happened to you? I felt you were injured. So how can I hear you this clearly when your face is, no offense, created into the pavement? I mean, like sound waves, idiot. It's literally my whole gamut. Get on with it! Roro, right, right, remove little bopper. <laughs> Try to grab and toss the comically oversized mallet. So it's far more grueling than it seems on the surface. It looks like it's a feather. Its actual weight is unfathomable, like the weapon is exactly refusing your every attempt to wield it. A test of might bounds a cruel, sick joke. It takes your all just to hold it aloft for the fraction of a second, needed to free saving from its clutches. Mm. How long was I out? Uh. Do you know what's happening as we speak? We have to ignore us. I need to know what's going on out there. Did the ceremony start yet? Yes, it's not nearly half an hour ago. Please stop flashing me around. Could you please stop flashing me around? God damn it, we're too late! Too late for what? Sestro, continue. I think I forgot my Raro voice. Have you any excuses to interrupt uh, Please anticipate our post conference event. What I believe to be the most crucial thing to stress in this correspondence between us, the proud leaders, and you, the watchful public, so which we all interact moving forward. It's easy for me to stand there, stand here, and give you a pol politician's oath to once again try to sell you on the idea of progress. 
Talk to the people most affected by this event. One lot of prior crises. And say that we plan to take charge for ancillary relief and subs subsidies. Dread that those who aren't struggling. I don't want to tell you what you expected to hear. I'm standing here to become a man who will take on the mantle of my ancestor with all it entails. Take responsibility that I believe what I and say what I believe is necessary. What I believe in. I don't expect to be up here tonight. The ceremony was unplanned and untimely for every single person on this planet. Sorry about butter candies. Oh, they are to die for. <laughs> There's nothing I can say that will make our current circumstances any brighter. We are in unknown territory. Being brought here through unknown means, now the uncertainty of your only providing force has been made explicit. What most people rightfully believe holds their entire lives within its grasp. Part of me always wanted to be up here to talk about it. To talk about it. The spell known fallacy is about my own thoughts and the thoughts that of those I've consolidated evidence with. The other part knows that, that simply stating my intent doesn't change anything. <laughs> We're all trapped within mechanisms of a cruel machine, and we are all—we're all its servants. We're brought into a world that was already broken. We're any time to challenge or fix the view of ruling authority ended in ridicule, punishment, or death. <laughs> so I'm no question it at all. It's hard to, and everything around you tells you that you shouldn't. And by all accounts, my current position makes it d disingenuous to claim that I'm the one who knows these feelings best. I'm a representative bastion of a representative bastion of an ideal that just can't be met. We don't need a centralized showman that speaks on the behalf of all individuals. Individuals are fully capable of speaking for themselves, for their efforts and their passions. So presenting, presenting an empty, following, folding rhetoric, which allows you to lay bare your grievances. To recognize those who are willing to speak out and put themselves on the line for what they should know is right. I'm adding words in again. For their beliefs on what we should do differently. For this world can go, where this world can go, and what grueling turns it takes along the way. The corn kids. And husky. For many sweeps, we continually lost confidence in those around us. We wrote every instance of acting culture, pride and accomplishment in the ceaseless search for middling gains. It should not be privilege, but commonplace. We've been at the forefront of that continued degradation. It's not acceptable. Is that being acceptable? So from this point forward, I won't allow it. I won't be taking credit for a position that does not belong to us. Why do I know something else stuffy? There's no possible possible way for us to apologize to the individuals who have who are not with us anymore. Those who have been harmed by the mentality we've harbored. Those who are not with us anymore. Oh my god. We also been instilled with the notion that they're suffering a ceaseless dedication to an entity that didn't care about them was a necessity. Oh god, Valtel. We all need to support each other. Relying on, relying on, on, on a facade of, of leadership to soothe grief that will always leave a caused by system perpetuated, perpetuated in a futile endeavor that will always leave others behind. So as soon as we are able to work within our current limitations, opposing a radical change to our foundations. Sestro? Not a deconstruction, not a reconstruction. A deacon reconstruction. <laughs> not a renaissance. A wholesale systematic shift. Fuck. I'm proposing we dissolve the Repton Corporation. Fuck. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Hey, you look cool. They have bold, bold air teeth. <laughs> Pardon me. Amazing speech. Well done. Spectacular. My sentiments exactly. It wasn't finished. Please stay silent. Oh, pardon me. I was under the impression we'd all heard what needed to be said. But you've already been interrupted. I have quite a few thoughts of my own. You did say that we all be fully capable of speaking for ourselves. So, I'll share some, some of my ideas with you. Come on, step closer and I will use lethal force. Stay back! My, my. Is company policy really that strict? Seems to, they just, seems to me that they let just about anyone appear these days. 
hilarious. I dabble in an improv. Again, I'm asking you to... Pardon me. Uh oh Wait. I know that face. Oh. Have we met somewhere before? Oh boy. Vile. What a vile question. There's no way you could have. I was gone before you arrived. I can't believe it. Interesting. Sir, we need your orders. Do not engage. We don't know what he's capable of. I believe we do, actually. I want to listen to what he has to say. After nine sweeps, decide to return. Why now? You're trying to take, you're trying to back, take back what was once yours, said Edelon. Oh. What you stronghold people heard just now was the exactly what it sounded like. The idyllic musings of someone who only pretends to speak for himself. It doesn't seem wise to prattle on about salvation and amends from the pretty little stage was set up for you by the very entity you are so nobly criticizing. If there is one lesson that the Repson Corporation has taught me, it's that when you're struggling, the ones you look, up, look to for guidance are far too busy holding self-awareness about accountability to do anything. But even so, I don't blame you, Sestro. This is a taught response. One that we once shared. Of course, none of you could have known. Court is not air, it's bad PR. And he would never let himself admit to any mistakes. So, I was forgotten, and the air and his advice were made as consequences of regret. But he's gone now, and I'm still here. Oh, that's a good one. Come on. You want to know who I am? Well, you're in luck. I'll tell you. I'll tell everyone. I'm not ashamed of acknowledging it anymore. Ooh. My name is Edelon Vrick, and I am that regret. I'm a descendant of the Holistic Blight, the man who was soulmate to the executive and damned representative of his noble compact. Clara Enthal made me. He raised me as his prodigy. And I'm the rightful inheritor of the ruined world he left behind. I know, I know. What a lofty claim this is. You're completely right to be skeptical. I was isolated from the start and stricken from all records. But truth be told, my admission wasn't meant to convince anyone here of what I'm saying. It just feels good to get it out in the open. This is... what are you? Shut up! I think you had more than enough time to speak! It makes me sick how much blind faith you all have! How long have you stay, all stayed complacent? Following those who will always find new ways to mask their intentions, like clueless infants. The very least we can do with this platform is just to send a message to those who aren't willing to listen. Try to give you all a reason to pay attention. On my palms, you'll find two corpora. These are the markings of an alchemist. Oh, I did, watch, I did just watch Full Metal Alchemist, so this makes more sense to me. So as many of you won't recognize, as they were all washed away from the an annals of history through your time and osmosis. Could I suggest it to be mere fantasy? Because you could have deemed this power necessary. For some, only two ways you can become an alchemist. If you have direct connections to that past, or you're chosen by those haunted by it. Why don't you show them our heritage, Sestro? You want to rise above it all, don't you? No more lies. This is your chance to do it. Oh god, she has a fucking sword. Enough! I'm done with your overconfident attempts to turn us into scapegoats! We have no relation! You've done nothing but prove how out of mind you are! Now get off this stage! Oh no. I don't remember what that symbol means, but I remember it not being good. To make it very clear for you, I wasn't asking. You... 
It's fine. What? I'm going to find out eventually. There you have it, everyone. I think this speaks for itself. Maybe it still doesn't prove anything. I think it's probably the strangest feeling, isn't it? This night is still so uncertain. Would you prefer it when another person speaks for you, right? About past events, about your thoughts and feelings? It makes it easier to consider what happens next, doesn't it? Oh god. The style's getting rougher. Why are you letting him do this? Also, that's Digo. There's no point in sending a false narrative beyond its usefulness. First, with the current heir, like him and his advisor are capable of handling themselves. I need to bring back Edelon, bring Edelon back to me. Just see what he tried to do. He found a way to realize his gifts. He's sending us to suppress him, study doom alchemist, it's suicide. My mentor chose us to rectify the mistakes of the past. It's still our responsibility. So, make any sacrifices count. Oh boy. Show them what alchemy is meant to be. I think this is a very unreal, underrated panel. I love this fucking panel so much. Oh god. Let me tell you what's about to happen. If that's one of you has a purpose to fulfill, a method of action to so contribute to the whole. Oh no. If it has a whole potential similar to ours, guarded by a dark fog of negativity, how should be so that you are squandering? You've wasted so much time trying to make sense of this cruel world, toiling days away, mindlessly, with no higher calling. It's terrible, isn't it? The corruption runs to the root, runs down to the roots. Oh, fuck. There is no vision without compromise. Unless you've been, you've been chosen, the reality of your situation is to exist for the people who have been, who have been and suffer in their wake. Why continue the charade? If you want to see the foundations you despise crumble, if you really care that much about your own convictions, then you get the letting us. Like those who are ostracized seek control for the best what didn't you, don't you? That has liberate you from it all. Oh god, it's the big buffer and it's the fucking Joker. I want to see that happen. To watch a sweep through the torment and neglect finally reach their apex. The culmination of once endless cacophony of physical cries finally goes silent. Oh, that's not good. Was that Sainru? Those of us have been blessed with the sight of seeing the outcomes, possibilities of what the future holds, the prophecies of the chosen few have brought us, brought us to this point. No matter what changes, every end is the same. There's nothing left but a blank slate. Fetching is at its core. So why not give it in and have a little fun before it's all gone? There's no shame in it. Not as what we were all owed. Because of the settling of my deaths, because I'm the one who will wallow in your burdens. Oh boy. Rejoice and be merry. Pick your final lines. May peace of the end and your roles to play. This rotten, desolate carcass of a world. Oh. Belongs to me. Oh, this update. What? Jesus. S incursion. Oh god, I almost swallowed a butter candy hole. Oh. Fine. Loathing. You ready? Cheese touch. <laughs> oh god. Oh. oh shit. Oh my god, it says like... 
Oh my god! It's, an, it's Luigi. Jesus Christ. He's my mind knives. And there goes the corporate building. <laughs> that was easy. Fucking hell. That's gory. Go! Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, when I first watched it, I thought that was Sabine and Aurora getting killed, but it's, no, it's someone else. Jesus, broke for the fucking time out of me. Oh, no, Colleen got bumped! Oh, no. Sestro! What a fucking flash, dude. I don't, I think a lot, a lot of people worked on that. I remember, um, what the uh, Donut, I think, I don't remember what they go by now. I think, I think it's still Donut. They did that first, um, Edlon things, which is surprising because I thought it was Zamp, but they did just as amazing as a fucking job. Anyway, volume back down. Mm, this one, I guess. What's going on here? Is his mind? So you've had the uh, privilege of meeting Edelon already. Before this came to pass, my idea was to tell you about him personally. It seems that as per usual, he's unwilling to comply with what I know is best. Some things do never change. Well then, so we're still here, that means you're not dead. What easiest feat to accomplish when faced with an opponent so keenly afflicted with eternal lack of restraint, far too much power for his own good. On top of that, you and those once under my tutelage have been revealed to the world at large. Nothing to contend with later. The application of your studies was sloppy. Apparently stringing techniques together, reforging the same objects with no plan or control, so it was well enough for an impromptu defense, which your alchemy only affects those you wish it to. You could have kept pushing without fear of collateral. Pardon me. The shield was commendable thinking on your feet, but overall you lacked discipline and refinement. You should know better. Pardon me. Oh. What's often occurred to you that supplying this sort of technique would have aided your strategy significantly? I saw a who was working on it. It's one of the many journals my red beloved left behind before tragedy swallowed him whole. A memoir, dedica a memoir dedicated, dedicated to his research into the consequence and corruption, the few of his caliber and aspect of emanation. Oh God, I wonder what I would be like as a fucking Doom Alchemist. That'd be a nightmare. I think one more thing we do know about Doom Alchemy Austin said it's kind like. Edelon has power similar to Shigaraki from My Hero Academia, and if you know what his quirk is, you know, that's really bad. The majority of his recordings were either left unfinished or pilfered, but we kept what remained. So at one point in your earlier studies, you chose to retain it. This music's loud. Show nothing more than another straight investment to, ha to have on hand at the time. You never expected to have to fight, much less against such a scarce and volatile aspect. Were you surprised? Scared? Why are you still here? Hmm? Angry. What did you think I want anything to do with you? I don't remember inviting you in. If I wanted to lecture, I'd still be out there with those terrorists and murder maniacs preaching about your shortcomings. We might not have been able to do as much as you expected of me. So we get to say in the matter, you might as well tell me what you are. I'm an imprint, the same as anything else you retain. I should have forgotten how this works. Not an imprint, you're an implant. I can visualize things I've recollected in, in painstaking detail through our psyop, but I never made you. Every my internal studies manifested through will and research. You, you put all your memories here, but other than the very helpful hallucinating when I'm awake, I haven't looked into any of them. I used to call it without my direct input. I'm 
sort of seen very some similarities between Claret and Van Hohenheim, actually. Now I think about it. They're both deadbeat dads. <laughs> and they both, uh, spoilers, die. At which it is only through the combination of our specific innate talents. Quite a curious phenomenon. The Anthel Cypher retains and organizes information while our alchemy, alchemy manifests it. For some reason, the being exposed to the echo of a life spanning 144 sweeps, calling to recreate a facsimile of that very same life. Our cognitive amalgamation of everything he's given you, your past factual experiences, and your personal impressions. For now, you'd only have had access to the latter two. Look at this as being akin to fixing an old town. The more resources you put into it, the more, you expand, the more it expands past its initial means. Eventually, you're left with a thriving cityscape. Just so, if you dedicate enough time toward knowing another person, you become a working fixture within you. As on Orthox as the transfer was, it's given you the means to understand who, who Clara Denthal was. Directly access his will of knowledge. That'll be crucial moving forward. Now, set his experiences for all the experiences you've shared with others in your life. Use them to enrich your own, per your own perspective, to expand the will of the possibility of what you can do. Train and hone your abilities to the finest point in order to be the strongest proponent of mind you can be. Otherwise, you would not make it through this ordeal alive. You notified Edelon's first assault because your own invocative invocation was not powerful enough to kill you. When you meet again, you'll be stronger still. You have deep theoretical understanding with no application to draw from, whilst he has an exceptional capacity for destruction. This is not an enemy you can reason with. He's made it clear enough that he does not care what happens from this point forward, as long as there's nothing left in the end. I recognize what I said earlier was harsh. If I had been transpired in the most optimal way, would you still feel would you still feel accomplished? The best you could you could, without fully grasping or preparing for this circumstance, you were hundreds of innocent trolls are dead. Thousands even. There's no optimal way because there is no upside. I want to be stronger for this. Not like this is just a stepping stone to crawl up on my own way to success. All it was it was just suffering and blood. There's no platitude you can pluck from my mind that changes that fact. You can't rationalize your faulty systems, watching as the consequences of your actions destroy countless lives, and this is for the best. This all comes from you. It's your fault we're here now. That's true. I understand my prior actions, Sestro. There's no point in, admonishing for, of, in your admonishing of me for the things I did with intent. I have no sob story to tell. I made choices that were easy for me and pushed my agenda forward, first and foremost. If that's what you want me to admit, I admit it. I'm not going to proselytize with rhetoric, because we both recognize that there is none. Likewise, being upset about whatever the real living Clara Denthal did or did not do changes nothing about your current situation. My only purpose is to help you prepare for the future. You've never done anything for me! You just watched from afar with knowing eyes until it was time for you to die. And then when you finally de decided to reach out, you burned me with everything you left behind. I've always known that that was going to happen. I knew what I was told. None of that ever came from you. You did say some of it, but everything was just relayed by someone else who spoke for you. I never got anything remote, remotely resembling wisdom or advice or, or love from you until you decided to force what you thought I needed on me. And now you're here. Oh, gee. Stretchy fingernails. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was always going to be here with you, Sestro. What? See what is around you based on your own interpretation of reality. A mixture of recollection, impression, and events that you see as fact. Ultimately, mind represents truth. Knowing and discovering of. You try to make right what you believe is wrong. You may not want to hear the truth, but you are made from me. My blood, my hair, my skin, my very foundations. I only change as much as to justify your individuality. From when you were born, and we were bound together. You were going to shoulder the weight of my memory, no matter what other form it may have taken. I want to be recording. Okay, we are getting close to the end. I'll probably finish. Um, uh, I two S two. The weight of us all bearing down in your skull. So let me tell you what I once told someone who was also struck with the very same concept. I don't wish to impart on those who descend from you. We are vessels, Sestro. We carry our pain and it shapes us. We learn from it just as you should now. That's the truth of the matter. I suggest you learn to accept it. The world you've inherited is a battlefield. Another war has just begun. Oh, gee. Miffy, I'm real sorry about what happened back there. I really wish we could have... Please, just... 
drive. Oh no, Sestro! Oh no! Jesus. Necron looks like he has flat tires. <laughs> you look like hell. Feels like it too. Here's what we got out there. Watching the alteration live. All the feeds were cut as soon as the raid started. Yeah, the party crash wasn't really my OG plan. I was getting before the organization started to make it distracted before the mayhem cut loose. We're a little too late on that. Did you manage to get everyone? You all okay? Take you a look around and you should be able to figure that one out. We managed to round everybody up f from, you know, the many piles of mutilated corpses, plus some extra. I was about to ask if that was actually the Tun and Kaika you brought with you. That's the most easily mistakable figure. We bought some the memorials, if you can believe it. No shit? I was like every night this world is getting smaller than it already is. Corporate Junior talked big out there on a station night. Almost like he meted it. Almost sounded like he meant it. So at the top of the paper chain with a shred of conviction when he took me the fuck out. <laughs> oh god, that right pipe looks like he's got fucking shell shock. No, it's saving. Oh god, I'm a spot to go about. Speaking of, he got, he got put for the grinder. I'm gonna need some kind of medical attention stat. A lot of the others probably do too. Me included. Ow. Rancor cells might do the trick. I don't know trying it though. Those things are really out of my jurisdiction. Totally out of my jurisdiction. Some of my soothing capabilities can be applied in any way. What about the boss lady? There's about a second away from snapping in two. Yeah. She ain't doing too hot. Poor thing. I I can talk to her. That's the spirit. Tell me about the man who was cut her speech short. Edelon, was it? Yeah, same guy I was talking about from the hideout. What did he do? For like a flamboyant speech as some sort of signal for those hordes. Shashu and Mavi went toe to toe with the bastard after the fight started. No idea what he did to the little guy. Some alchemic mumbo, so it's bad news. I don't think he realizes what he's fucking with. Timing corporate building is nothing but rubble now, right from the outside. Most of the square is wrecked. If we were with their sleeves behind a bunch of random goons. Some of our magic bullshit, some future prediction stuff, all kinds of psyops, wasted mystical creatures running rampant, that stupid book, and a bunch of ra random goons. Pardon me. I'm willing to bet my hand on the reason all this happened is because the first place because of these kooks. Hell, we practically heard as much. Let's try to find refugees. I think that's finding maybe those few al al alchemists that got called back and scrambled away. There ain't no survivors. They have a hand on everyone. Even those widowed powers and numbers alone were in their favor. Don't think it's just a pleasure frenzy neither. Pardon me. They want bodies. Ours included eventually. Are they gonna do something, Gary? That sounds doubtful, but if this Alchem really is that strong, how did they even manage to make an outlier with your hinds intact? Fuck, don't even feel so fake. Have all for a second there for the bouts. Bell, bell died down. And then he lets go. You're serious. Not like that. That makes no sense. How are we supposed to be the biggest threat to their plans or whatever? What the fuck do they stand a game? Meets me. Just around long enough to ask. Oh god. No oh, catalyst. I wonder if he had, I wonder if he's an alchemist. I oh, know. We we haven't seen that hand, so What is he's a uh, he's a rogue of rage, I'm pretty sure. Interesting. Are we even safe on here safe on here anymore? I don't have a jackers and I've run in our vehicles, let me make sure to watch for tra for tails. Sorry, no, there really is nothing. Well, Nox just knew where it was, so... I mean, he was an informant, so... You know. I wonder if there's a good enough answer with everything at stake. Listen. It's way late in the morning. These folks are all tired, bared, and most definitely traumatized. We need to call it here until the evening. For now, we're on ours priority mission for him. What is that that you're planning to do? I've been over your sorry state already. <laughs> I'm probably gonna sit my ass out here and keep watch. I'll probably switch, switch a girl later so I can get a wink. He's divine and blessed with the old mother herself. Also, I've been told. Yes, I'm just 12 stars early to be getting here. Like all of them, you don't, I don't need sleep. I'll hold it out with you. It's gonna be less of a chore than bigger numbers. Respect! I can get, groove, I can get a groove going until my internal snap chugging. Gotta hibernate eventually. Sure, you know I can last up to a blink without major issues. I'm nowhere near my threshold. You get cranky. I'm always cranky. So I had to go for all this. Yeah, me too. Whiskey. You have going ahead and do what you gotta do now. As soon as Cheshire's back, back up by then, we'll start we'll start pl hashing plans and setting things in motion when we're spry. From here on out, we're a unit. And we're in this shit together. 
Oh boy. I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. I saw it. I told the regulator. I told the vigilante. I told all of them it was coming. Why don't you ever listen to me? I should have stopped the moron when I had the chance. Oh yeah, he's in air of time, isn't he? Everyone out there is so worried. That's what they went through. In a way, so am I. I think it's all a little misplaced. Maybe that's too, too optimistic of me. But I have this strange feeling. Everything will wind up okay. Because you're going to save us, aren't you? Oh, snap. End of Vision Mission 2, Side 2. Oh, what an end. Anyway, I think that does it for today. I know it was a 10 minute short of the last time, but I don't know. I think that's a good place to end so we can start with Act 3. Oh, what was that change? I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, look forward to Act 3. Probably have caught up by the time the next update comes out, so I'm going to be up to date. Finally. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, subscribe, comment, yada, yada, yada. Um, I'll see you next time.